In Casablanca's former abattoirs, Nabil Lahlu is hard at work on his ninth feature film, entitled The Year of a Thousand and One Moons. Carried on a trolley is the film's central character, a theatre director who lies in a coma after being beaten up by the authorities. On his deathbed, he dreams about the film he wished he'd made about his country's history. If Morocco wants to move forward, it can't have any kind of complex about the truth. You can't strangle the truth and you can't erase history. You have to say we have a history which has been written in blood and in beauty. This history has to be faced. The film traces eight decades of Moroccan history and pays homage to the country's anti-colonial heroes. As in his previous films, Lahlu uses scathing humour to critique abuses of political power and social injustice. His uncompromising style saw him banned from working under the reign of the former king, Hassan II. Restrictions are fewer nowadays, though he's still forced to make his films on a shoestring budget. I could never make this film the way I wrote it. That's why I opted for a totally surreal world, to try and get a little bit of my original story onto the screen. Because my screenplay would have required huge amounts of money. Well, I'm making this film with 280,000 euros. Out of necessity, Lachlou is something of a one-man film studio. He writes the scripts, makes the films, and often plays the lead role, alongside his wife, the actress Sophia Hardy. There are great periods of creativity because we have to improvise. It's a bit rough and ready, but that's the soul that we're trying to give to this work. Exuberance, humour and plain speaking. Despite sometimes difficult circumstances, it's these traits which help Lachlou keep doing what he does best and making films which are every inch his own.